Yeah, this is my 1975 Coachman. And uh, I put an angle bracket, a PCB angle bracket, along top of it. Which I will get a little closer so you can see here. And I just screwed it right to the side of the camper. And I've got LED, LED lights mounted on the bottom of it. And I wired it to my porch light there. Alright, that's what it looks like with them on. I can't really get back far enough to uh, see here. You try to. There, I changed them to blue. It comes with a remote control. There's green. Let's see here. Let me shut the lights off. Okay. I'm almost out of the range. I got a remote control for them, but I'm almost out of range for it. I must be out of range for it. Let me see if I can get a little closer. Yeah, okay, that turned it red. And there's green. Here's blue. I can't get hardly get back far enough. I got it sitting inside my garage. And then if I can get in range here again. It's in white. And it's got this button on it. Where it's supposed to fade if I can find the right button to do it here. <laughs> Trying to there. Let me see if I can back up a little bit. I don't know if you can tell it or not, but it's actually fading between colors. Now the only drawback to this is on YouTube, they had a bunch of videos of how they hooked up their their uh, power to the porch light. Well, the one thing I found is that I don't know if it's something wrong with my camper or whether it's because it's a 1975, but I have to have my battery hooked up even though I still on AC power house power I still have 12 volts I still have to have my battery hooked up for some reason and I have to run it off my battery power so I'm not exactly sure why that is but anyway I thought I'd take a quick video of it.